Hello everybody, this is Pun, the Frugal Streamer, and I want to talk about RTX. So, NVIDIA lifted the embargo today with RTX 2080 and the 2080 Ti. So, you saw a lot of news outlets putting out blogs and videos related to their performance. So, what were their conclusions? Well, basically, if you're like me and you own a 1080 Ti, you might want to hold on to your money because... Spending $800 on a card to get an additional you know, 15 to 20 frames probably really isn't worth it. Okay, so they're saying basically you're getting about a 25% increase over a 1080 Ti. And then you have the 2080, which essentially was basically equal to a 1080 Ti, or in some cases the 1080 Ti actually outperformed it, but it's still $100 more than 1080 Ti. So, unless you have an older video card, older NVIDIA, or even older AMD card, and you're looking for a series upgrade to 4K, you might want to hold on to your money. But, there is something compelling about RTX, so that's what this video is going to talk about. And that is NVENC, because, you know, as this channel is geared toward, it's geared toward streaming, and getting the most bang for your buck for building your streaming equipment. Well, NVENC is a great way to take load off of your CPU by using the GPU encoder that is built onto the NVIDIA video cards. Okay, so NVENC has been around for a while now. I think it started with the Kepler chip and uh, its most recent you know, uh, version on is Pascal with the 1080, 1080 Ti, 1070. Uh, the 1000 series cards anyway, uh, you know, that was the latest version up until RTX. Well, one of the things that NVIDIA has done is they have, I don't know if we want to call it redesigned, but they have definitely uh, made NVENC a lot more efficient. So their, uh, the NVIDIA dev blog discussed some of the performance increases with uh, the NVENC encoding specifically for streaming and comparing it to the x264 encoder that we you know see on obs and streamlabs obs and xsplit and everything else for that matter that we use to record our gameplay with and they compared it to x264 at a fast preset at 1080p60 and they typically saw actually a 25 percent increase in quality with NVENC at the same settings. That is quite compelling because as everybody knows, uh, you know, with older NVENC uh, processing, encoding I should say, is that it is not, the quality is not as good as X264. Typically you have to give, you know, stream about 2,000 to 3,000 more of a bit rate to get the equal quality of X264. So if I were to stream at X264 at, say, 4,000, to get the equivalent bit rate, I would probably have to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 6,000 or maybe even 7,000. Well, that's if you're streaming on Twitch, 6,000 is as high as you can go. So you're limited with the quality that you could get out of NVENC for streaming. And for recording, you had to record you know, at a pretty high bit rate to get a good quality video. Well, they're saying now that actually you can lower the bit rate to get the equivalent quality of older NVENC processing with this new Turin uh, 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 architecture with RTX and the NVENC that they uh, have now made more efficient. And that's really good. So why am I bringing this up when I tell you that the cards are so expensive? Well, first of all, if you are in a in the in the uh, area where you can afford to buy one buy one of these new rtx cards because you have a card that is older you know like a 700 series 900 series nvidia card then it might be worth it for you to use this and when you buy this new rtx card you could have a gaming pc slash streaming pc that is able to record at 1080p60 or stream at 1080p60 using NVENC 
with minimal load on your CPU, and I'm talking like 1%, this is what NVIDIA is saying, is basically going to have about a 1% load on your CPU. So you're able to see uh, minimal performance loss, minimal frame rates uh, drop, minimal frame drops while you're playing your game, while you're recording at 1080p 60 or streaming at 1080p 60 for that matter. And you're going to have the quality of X264 in fast preset at that given bitrate or even better by what NVIDIA says. And to further back this up, Linus Tech Tips also confirmed this. He also ran testing with the 2080, the 2080 Ti versus x264 and fast and he confirms that he either saw as good of quality as x264 or even better so that is exciting for me because a if you're in the neighborhood to be able to buy one of these cards now once they become readily available that's good for you but what about when they come out with the 2070 or even say they come out with a 2060 or a 2050 like they've done in the past with the with the 1050 or the 1060 okay they will still have the same NVENC encoding that the 2080 and the 2080 ti will have so you can probably get you a card for your streaming rig like my aging streaming rig that i can do 720p 60 or 1080p 30 on and you can invest you two or three hundred dollars, probably about three hundred bucks, I would imagine, if they were to come out with a 2060. You can invest three hundred dollars, and now you've upgraded your streaming PC so that you can now stream at 1080p 60 with minimal CPU usage. That is fantastic, and that is, I think, in my opinion, a worthy upgrade once those become available and i'm pretty sure they will come out with a 2060 uh it only makes sense you know based on what they've done in the past so is single pc streaming and gaming uh finally relevant for most people yeah i think so i think once uh once more consumer level i would say consumer level uh, rtx cards come out I think that you can see most people either stream on a single gaming and streaming PC, or if you've already got a dual streaming PC setup, you can take that old streaming PC and upgrade it with this card, use the NVIDIA encoding, and now you have a capable 1080p 60 streaming computer. I can't, I, you know, I, I can't wait to be honest with you. That's what I'm looking forward to. There's no reason to upgrade your CPU and upgrade your motherboard if it's working fine. You just upgrade your video card to the latest to the you know uh, RTX, and you get you a nice new NVIDIA encoder, and you're good to go at 1080p 60. Oh, and not to mention, it also supports 4K now, or up to 8K to be honest with you. Uh, so you can actually send a 4K signal to YouTube at say 20 or 30 thousand bit rate. You're not limited, and you still can do it with no drop frames from what NVIDIA is saying. So think about it. That's it. That is compelling for somebody looking to get a, a nice upgrade to their streaming PC, or if you're in the neighborhood of building the a top-end gaming PC, well, you just got you a streaming PC too. So, well, there you go. That is it, guys. Thank you for the video. I'm really sorry about not putting out more content lately. I'm still kind of getting into the uh, swing of things of getting out of college. But I, one last thing before I close the video out is I want to say thank you very much. Uh, we hit over 5,000 subscribers. Matter of fact, um, we're almost at 5,200 subscribers, if I'm not mistaken. And before that, I just want to say thank you very much for the support. Uh, you have been wonderful on the channel, and I appreciate everything that you guys do to support me. And I, as a way to say thank you, um, I'm giving away a an Elgato Stream Deck. Okay, it's worth $150. I will ship it anywhere in the world. All you have to do is enter. So I'm going to provide the link down in the description where you can go and enter the contest. You do have to be a subscriber on this YouTube channel uh, to be eligible. Okay, but you can you can subscribe, 
get your drawings in there. You can also, uh, you know, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and you can get extra points. But I will be doing that drawing this Sunday, 9-23, and um, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I can go ahead and get the name out there. I will go ahead and purchase it and ship it straight to your house from Amazon. So thank you again for supporting the channel. I'm looking forward to giving away that stream deck, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with it. And again, thank you for this video. Thank you for watching it. I do appreciate it. If you did like the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. And if you do buy an RTX card, let me know. I'd like to see what you think about it and see how NVENC's working. Make a recording. I would love to see the performance. Unfortunately, they didn't send me one to test. Um, in video, if you're listening, I would love to have one, and I could run the NVENC testing on it and run recordings and compare it to Kepler because that is what is in my streaming rig now and compare it to Pascal, which is in my gaming PC, and we can compare NVENC versions and see which one's actually better and how they perform. Okay, so anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you out there. Bye-bye.